Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. My name is Eric. So behind me is a 2021 Honda Pilot. So I think this is the first time on this channel I've ever featured anything with a Honda. Um, I think I did a Honda Civic video about a year ago or so, but yeah, we got this vehicle in from our local Honda dealership. In this video, what I'm gonna be doing is going over how to do uh, paint protection film installation on the front bumper. These front bumpers, they're not super difficult, but if you've never done one before, they can become pretty overwhelming pretty quick so got the pattern right there on the wall so I'm gonna get that ready and hope you guys enjoy this video let's get going I'm ready to get going all that's left to do before I put the film on the bumper is just wipe everything down with 99% isopropyl alcohol so So this vehicle is brand new. I think it only has like 100 kilometers on it. So no stone chips, no scratches, no road debris damage of any sorts. So this, this bumper should go on quite easily. <clears throat> Perfect. Okay, I'm gonna get my squeegee tack solution slip solution ready. So now we're just gonna spray the bumper down. So with this vehicle, we've already installed mirrors, hood, the fenders. Just partial, just up till here. So now we're gonna do the bumper. Got my bumper pattern right here. So I created my dry spot on the bumper. Now what I wanna do is there we go. Now I'm gonna create a dry spot over here as well. like that. Now I can back roll with relative ease. Talk on the squeegee on my left sure is fun. There we go. Okay. There we go. Okay. Just like any other bumper, start in the middle, try and find your reference points. Now, what I'm gonna do is, since there are no sensors on these bumpers, I don't think pilots even come with sensors. Um, where I'm gonna start is right over here, right by the corner of the fog lamp. So, got a bit of tack solution in there and just gonna line that up. Just need a little bit more. Mm -hmm. 
Now I'm gonna, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get this piece underneath the fog lamp down. So make sure, I clean that off. So now what I want, I wanna make sure that this alignment is even underneath the fog lamp, which it is. So just lightly gonna squeegee that down. Okay, that's good. Pull the film back over here. Okay, got that down. Now, I'm just gonna get this back. It's more slip solution underneath here. Now there is, right over here, not sure if I pull this back, if you can see it, there's a notch. For this corner, the film wraps over top. So that's gonna be my next reference point. Got a little bit of tack solution there. Stretch it into place. Tack that down. Okay, we're good. Now, I squeegee this all down. Good, that's down, this is down. I'll worry about that later. So I just got some more slip solution over top of the film so the squeegee's gonna glide well. Get some more in behind the film so the film can be glided into place properly. Now what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna worry about getting this corner down before I get this corner or this corner down. I wanna make sure I got a nice even edge line so there we go okay now the film over here that's about the right place can stretch this corner into place Good, stretch this corner in. That's good. That's all down. Now, I can pull this down into place right where it needs to be, which is right there. go this lines up nice up top here now what I can do is just squeegee everything down just like so I'm just gonna get a bit more tack solution in there lay that down okay that's good everything's good over here now I can move over to the middle
me that thumbnail. There we go. Thumbnail done. Now, I want to make sure nothing is sticking over here prematurely because right now, as you can see, I want to take and line, I want to stretch the film across the bumper right over here to the corner of the fog lamp. But as you can see, I probably got a good solid inch and a half, two, maybe even more than two inches that I need to stretch. So in a situation like this, I get a bunch of slip solution in behind the film and I'll stretch it into place, hold it there. And now everything just sits perfect. Give it a couple really good shots of the squeegee or like a dozen like what I just did. Now I'll get this part down. Just like so. go Get some tack solution underneath here squeegee all that out Now, same thing, come up over here, get this into place. There we go. Okay, like I said, I'll worry about the middle later. Now I'll come over here. I'm gonna get this corner down. There we go. That's good. Get this top corner in place, just like so. Good. Now get this corner in place. there good now I did it again dropping the squeegee just gonna get some tack solution across the top there get that into place right where it needs to be There we go. Okay, now do this right here. Mm -hmm. 
Okay, that corner is down. Now we can start working the middle. Everything is right where it needs to be. Nothing sticking anywhere. So now that I have just the middle left to do of this bumper, I'm gonna try and push as much air out as I possibly can. And now I'm gonna worry about the alignment. So I wanna get, I wanna get this corner down. Just like this, even, even. Now I wanna make sure that the film right over here, just getting slip solution out of there, there's no tack solution there. Just wanna make sure that this is all good, and it is. Get just a little bit of tack solution in there. It's even. Push that out. Okay. There we go. Everything's in place. Now all I have to do is just bring everything down. So I will get a little bit of tack solution underneath the film here. Just that way once it's down, it'll stay down as this vehicle's gotta go out shortly. Guess that's one thing I should probably touch on. When you're doing PPF um, and vehicles need to leave the same, so yeah, the reason why you wanna make sure you've got more tack solution underneath the film um, is just that way if the vehicle is gonna be going out the same day, you wanna make sure that that film is not gonna be coming up off the vehicle. Um, that's my reasoning behind that. Um, if it's winter time, you ideally want to keep that vehicle indoors overnight. If you don't have that luxury and it has to leave the same day, um, tack solution and tons of heat with the heat gun. 